we are literally three weeks away from seven stock and this is what I've done to the car so far I decided to paint it with some spray paint I know it's not ideal it's not what I really wanted to do but when I fixed the fenders these right here had cracks all along here and it was split and so when I fixed the fenders I painted it like a semi gloss white and the rest of the car looked like it was beige and so I decided to just spray the entire car however after the event the car is going to go through some major and I do mean major uh, body transformation I'm going to do a full wide body on the car uh, I'm going to change the wheels or have the wheels powder coated this is the interior or should say under the hood this is under the hood of the car car dynoed at about 305 to the wheels uh, at 12 pounds of boost and so it's, it's pretty much ready to go I wanted it to look uniformed I wanted it to be a little more you know one color and so I decided to just paint it uh, all the same color painted the hood did some modifications but as you can see there's a lot of cracks here in the vent and I can't find this vent anywhere um, a lot of the places that I look they are out of stock and so I might go with another hood next year or something different but I had to replace some windshield there was a huge crack right here and it just went all the way down and so replaced the, the windshield interior is still the same I did not paint the interior because I am going to do a roll cage I locked the door and I don't feel like opening it but it's rocking orange wheels in the rear those are XXR they are forged I forget which model number those are and then the fronts are XXRs I believe these are the five don't quote me on this 521s I'll double check but I have the other the other ones in the back I wanted to do the orange wheels because they were literally forged and they're lighter wheels so I'm running those on the track I am going to replace the tires on the front I know it does not look great I know guys it's not the greatest looking car I got orange wheels in the back gold wheels in the front uh, but I, I am going to take it out to seven stock which is November 5th and we're going to do some testing. We're going to do some shakedowns, see how the car performs, um, get some data. I am running a Haltech 1500, Elite 1500 with premium harness. So the goal of this event, even though I will be a vendor, so if you are in the SoCal and you are a Rotary fan, you know about 7 Stock, come by the booth. Come by DLW Motorsports and check us out, see what we got going. The Donut Media uh, Vert will be there so I am bringing that out to the event uh, car is a bit dirty I gotta clean up some of the overspray on the car uh, but we will be out there come November 5th so if you are out here in SoCal and you're gonna be in the area come out say hi come by the booth check out the car it will be on the track we will be doing some testing and some shakedowns and stuff like that to see what we need to change also i've been working on this i did not get a chance to video record the wiring that i did for this car um, it was my first harness and i was a little skeptical about recording it i should have done it um just to kind of give you guys that process of me doing my first wire harness there is the aem coils uh my client made his own bracket to hold them and then I did the sub harness is just right up under it so this project is coming along this is the series 5 turbo FC uh, so I have been posting videos of this it's almost done guys we dropped the gas tank in this uh, sent it out to be cleaned the fuel pump hanger has been up you know upgraded just a little bit um, He's running a Walbro 450 fuel pump. This is the car. So we are making some upgrades to his fuel system. Uh, you know, just things like that. So he's excited. It's almost done. I don't believe that this 
will be done in time to get this out to seven stock on November 5th, but it's making huge strides. We got the motor in, the turbo is in, the downpipe is in. He had a custom drive shaft made because it is a NA or it was a NA drivetrain, um, but we do have a turbo transmission. He does still have the NA differential and he sent his uh, drive shaft out to have it upgraded just to same drive shaft just change the yoke on the front to mate with the turbo transmission because they are bigger so more content coming on this stay tuned for this i got some more stuff that we are going to be doing i am going to be recording more so stay tuned for that and this one will be out on the track november 5th come out say hi come by the booth we'll be out there having fun this will be in the booth my buddy is bringing his fc v8 that he has so that'll be in the booth with us the donut media vert the car that i want on donut media uh that will be out there in the booth and so come by and say hi uh other than that i'll see you guys out there